hi it's Richa from soulmate welcome to my channel if you want to see how i make this beautiful funnel neckline top or built up neckline top with kimono sleeves please stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time i upload new videos you get notified You will need a no dad bodice block pattern to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well. So this is a block for stable knit fabrics. So for this pattern, I'm just going to be drafting for both the front and back using just the back bodies. Okay, it works for both. Leave yourself enough space at the top for the final neckline. So first trace around your block as usual, making sure to mark your notches. Lift your block. Square in your underarm line and your waistline. Now extend your shoulder line like I'm doing here. At the underarm, we're going to go out 2 centimeters and down 2 centimeters applying that change down two centimeter out two centimeter put a mark extending the shoulder line a little further now i'm going to square a line down from the shoulder line to the new point that we just marked make sure it's squared from the shoulder adding a seam allowance one centimeter and joining the point that we marked out to the hip line like i'm doing here adding a hem allowance two centimeters now on to drafting our final neckline just extend the center back line a little further up and at the next shoulder junction we're going to move it out by three centimeters and go up the line five centimeters so three centimeters in put a mark square a straight line up using the underarm line next measure five centimeters along the squared line for our neckline height minus five centimeters you can choose to make it shorter or longer it's all up to you extending the line a little further and measuring another five centimeters this will serve as my neckline facing then I'm gonna square a point across to the center back line. So that's five, five for each section there. And make sure you square that point across to the center back line. Then we're going to go down one centimeter at the center back from the squared line, square a little line across. With the curve ruler, just join these two points like I'm doing here. then drawing a nice calf like I'm doing here I'm using my French calf and adding my seam allowance from the neckline all the way to the shoulder I'm using seven millimeters since I'm using a serger now using this five centimeter mark we're going to go ahead and fold our facing back like it would sit when it's sewn onto the top Then we're going to cut through this line so we can get a good shaping for our neckline there. Cut around your pattern and cut around the rest of your pattern. So we're going to be putting our center back and center front for this top on fold. And labeling the pattern, top, cut two on fold, and I put my initial. So that's one for the back and one for the front. And adding my notches. 
now adding a grain line to the part and parallel to the center back or center front and our patterns finished now we're moving on to sewing now on to sewing our high neck top what you need are your completed patterns your fabrics and your cutting tools for the fabric i'm using this beautiful stable knit fabric so now let's go on to cutting our fabric So we finished cutting our pattern pieces so the first thing we're going to do is to lay our patterns right sides facing now go ahead and pin along the neckline all the way to the shoulder seam okay for both sides Now we're going to take this to the sedger and sew from the neckline all the way to the end of the shoulder seam here for both sides. If you are using a sewing machine, make sure to use a zigzag stitch so that it stretches along as you wear your dress. Let's go and do that. Okay, now so that's done. So the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and overlock the top edge of our neckline here. And we're going to go ahead and pin along the side seams. So we're going to take this to the sedger again and sew along the side seams. If you are using a sewing machine, continue to use a zigzag stitch. Let's do that. Okay, now so that's done. Now we're going to go ahead, grab the neckline and we're going to roll the collar to the wrong side like I'm doing here like this. Then go ahead and grab the seam allowances from inside the collar like this. And we're going to pin along it on both sides. So we'll take this to the sewing machine and stitch down the two seam allowances together on both sides so that our collar will sit nicely inside our top, okay? Whilst we're there, we're also going to go ahead and finish off our hems for the top in the sleeves as well so just overlock right round for the sleeves we're going to turn it under by one centimeter and just top stitch it then for the hem we're going to turn it under by two centimeters and then we're going to sew around with a twin needle let's go and do all that okay now so that's all done now we're going to go ahead and turn the neckline so that it sits right then we're going to turn our top to the right side. And our high neckline top is finished now, thank you.